let us begin to ask for mercy let us ask god to have mercy upon us let us plead for mercy on our behalf on our family's behalf that god should cleanse us from every unrighteousness he should wash our garments clean this morning in the mighty name of jesus prayer Let us begin to invite the Holy Spirit officially into our midst. Let us ask him to come and fit our gathering this morning. Let us ask the Holy Spirit to come and take perfect control, take preeminence of what we are going to do this morning so that we will not connect in vain in the mighty name of Jesus. Welcome to let us come against every principalities and power wherever they are gathered this morning. Holy Ghost, I should destroy them because they have gathered this morning. Their garden is not of God. Let us ask God that God should destroy and scatter them wherever they are gathered under the sea, on top of the rock, on top of roof, anywhere they are in first and second heaven. Let us ask the Holy Spirit to destroy and scatter them in the mighty name of Jesus.
Let us pray for, for, for this ministry, MSRPM worldwide. Let us pray that the, the Spirit of God will continue to abide with us. Let us pray that the word of truth, which we are hearing day and night, the Lord should make us the doer of His word and strengthen all of us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let us pray for the watchman of this ministry and his family that the Spirit of God will continue to abide with them. God should equip them. God should empower them. No power of darkness shall overcome their life. Let us pray for them and pray for this uh, everyone that is working with them, the ministers and the workers and everyone on the mountain, that the Lord will help us. We all make it at last. No one will be left behind in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brethren, let us pray as we are about to hear, as we are about to listen to the word of God this morning. Let us pray that God will open our heart as we have connected. Our heart will also be connected. Let us pray that God should make our heart fetter to receive from Him to this morning. And whatsoever we hear from the Lord this morning, the Lord will grant us the grace to do them according to the will of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Lastly, brethren, let us pray for, for, the, for our brethren all over the world that are facing persecution, tribulation, trial, temptation because of the word of God, because of truth, because of holiness. Let us pray that God will empower them, God will strengthen them, God will keep them till the end. They will never bow as we pray for them. Let us pray for, for ourselves in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, <laughs> Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you so very much, Lord, that all we have called to you this morning, you have answered out. We thank you so very much for worship. We give you all the praises, oh Lord. As we have declared in the mighty name of Jesus, so shall it be in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. I, I hide under the grace and mercy of God. I declare this service open in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit, in Jesus Christ's mighty name. We have praise and worship. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, we thank you this morning. Father, we bless your holy name, Jesus. King of kings, we appreciate you. Lord of Lord, we give you all the honor and adoration. Thank you, Lord, for waking us up again this morning to see another beautiful day. We are glad, oh Lord, we honor you. We say thank you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we want to worship you right now, Father. If there be anything, stay in our lives, oh Lord. The devil is standing up, oh Lord. Father, we are asking for mercy. Father, let your fire clear them away from us, oh Lord. Purify our heart, purify our mind, our thought, and imagination in the name of Jesus Christ. I take your place again in our whole, in our lives, all individually, collectively, Father, and let your name alone be glorified at the end. In Jesus' name, I have prayed. Amen. We never give we are overcome, man, for the Lord God is on us. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, on the Lord, oh, on the Lord. oh yes, we are on the Lord's side. We, oh, we, 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 Father, we will we never give up on you, Lord. We are. Oh, yes, we are. Oh, 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 oh. Hallelujah. Oh, oh, oh the Lord. And we have chosen the right path. Oh, oh, oh the Lord. Father, oh, oh, we have made up our minds. <laughs> we, we, we never, no matter what, never. Jehovah, we will never will. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Thank you, my Savior. For oh, oh, the love of God. Is the joy of my salvation? Yes, he is the joy of my salvation. Yes, he. Father, you woke me up this morning. Lord, you're giving me a brand new day. He's my joy of my salvation. Yes, he is. Let us sing it together. He is the joy of my salvation. Yes, he is. Oh, yes, he he is the joy of my salvation. Yes, he woke us up this morning. 
Salvation, you are fans. They are looking for it. Well, you are I have blessed this morning. And the joy of the salvation will be on this morning. Some people didn't even wake up. Some people have answered the call of the Lord Jesus. Standing on the judgment show right now. But here are you are in the presence of God. So I think you say, God, take this tomorrow. You walk me out this morning and give me a brand new day. Father, we have to shoot. the solution says, Thank you, Papa God. I don't want to say, Papa, for you, West. We thank you, Lord. We worship you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, 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 Hallelujah. Praise, 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 Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And my beloved brethren, could you all please open your Bibles to the book of Job chapter 23. Job chapter 23. I read in Jesus' mighty name. Uh, and verse 1. 
Then Job answered and said to, even today is my complaint bitter. My stroke is heavier than my groaning three. Oh, that I knew where I might find him, that I might come even to his seat. Or I would utter my calls before him and fill my mouth with argument five. I would know the words which he would answer me and understand what he would say unto me. Six, will he plead against me with his great power? No, but would he put strength in me? Seven, there the righteous might dispute with him, so should I be delivered forever from my judge. Eight, behold, I go forward, but he is not there, and backward, but I cannot perceive him. Nine, on the left hand, where he doth walk, but I cannot behold him. He he did himself on the right hand that I cannot see him. Ten. But he know he knoweth the way that I take. When he had tried me, I shall come forth as gold. Eleven. My foot had heard his step. His ways his way have I kept and not declined. Twelve. Neither have I gone back from the commandment of his sleep. I have esteemed the word of his mouth more than my necessary food. Thirteen. But he, thirteen. But he is but he is in one mind, and who can turn him and what is so desired, even that he do it. Fourteen. Verse fourteen. Oh sorry. Verse fourteen. For he performed the thing that he is appointed for me, and many things I will him. Verse 15, therefore I am uh, I'm, I troubled at his presence when I consider I'm afraid of him. Verse 16, for God make it my heart soft and the Almighty trouble me. Verse 17, the last verse, because I was not cut off before the darkness, neither had he covered the darkness from my face. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in our head in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Almighty and most everlasting Father, the King of Kings, the Prince of Peace, the Lord of Love, the omnipotent God, the omniscience God, the only wonder, the everlasting Father, the God that sees the end from the beginning, the unchangeable changer, the mighty warrior. We magnify your name. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. Father, we thank you for counting us worthy among the living again one more time. We thank you, Lord, for making it possible for us to gather again before your presence this hour to hear from you and not from man. Father, we ask you, Lord, that you take perfect control in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm. Father, Lord Almighty, I pray as many of us, Lord, that have come to seek your face and not to seek man this hour, to hear your word and not to hear man. Father, none of us shall go back the same way we came in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm. Father, let every soul be polished. Let every soul be renewed. Let every soul be nourished, mm. purified, and washed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, your word says, O Lord, in the book of John, chapter 17, verse 17, says, Sanctify them with their truth, for your word is true. Father, as your word come again this hour, let it sanctify us and purify us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I surrender my body, soul, and spirit to Lord unto you. I have no words of my own. Father, as I speak this hour, let the power of the Holy Ghost give me the utterances to speak. At the end of the hour, the hearer will be edified. I that you are using will be edified. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your word says that we are not ignorant of the devices of the devil. We come against every plus and plans of the devil wherever they have gathered this hour in the land, in the sea, in the air. We silence them. We bind and cast them out of our midst in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Do it again the way you want to do it and take all the glory, take all the honor, take all the adoration, and let the blessing rest upon every one of us and shame to the devil forever. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Uh, Praise God. Um, yeah. Brethren, we are looking at a very brief exhortation this morning. We are familiar with it. Manifested the gift of God in righteousness. Manifested the gift of God in righteousness. Brethren, every one of us that the Lord has brought into this world, or every one of us that was born, we were not born by mystic. We were born at the divine plan and purpose of God for humanity.
We are born to fulfill a divine plan and purpose. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Yeah. What are we talking about? This is where Christians, many Christians will be disappointed on that day. You manifesting the gift of God is not a guarantee for you to make heaven, except it is done in righteousness. So in other words, God created you for a reason, and it deposited in you a gift. I don't know the gift that he must have put in you, but you yourself know that thing that you just find yourself doing to the glory of God, not that you fasted, or you did anything for you to get it, but you just see all of a sudden, you can sing very well, you can preach very well, you can teach very well, you have that spiritual sight to see things before they happen. It is a gift that has been deposited in you, but you must not use them in all righteousness. You must use them in righteousness, in holiness. If you take a look at the body of Christ today, you can see... There is no unity in the body of Christ. Why? Because the gift of God has been hijacked by Satan. People have gone to seek gifts from the hands of the devil by hook and crook. Praise Master Jesus Christ. And as, a result, and as a result of that, there is no unity in the body of Christ. Using that gift of the devil to make merchandise of the children of God. I pray None of us will fall victim of that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Brethren, today pastors and prophets are in hellfire. Even some of them have gotten the gift, like I said before, from the devil by hook and crook, deceiving themselves, being workers of iniquity, according to the book of Matthew chapter 7, verse 22. Brethren, you can also have this gift from God, but as far as that you are not using them in righteousness, you are also using it to make merchandise of people. The Bible says that you are a worker of iniquity. According to Matthew chapter 7, verse 26, says, many will say unto me on that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in the name? In the name, have we cast out devils? In the name, done many wonderful works? 23, then will I profess unto them, I never knew you, depart from me, ye that walk iniquity. No wonder the Bible makes us to understand in the book of Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. He said, be not deceived, God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. There is a satellite that watch every one of us. The Bible makes us to understand in the book of Hebrew. Hebrew chapter 12. Hebrew chapter, let's turn our Bible there. Praise the Lord. There is, there is a satellite that is watching every one of us on this planet Earth. We have to really, really be very, very careful. Hebrew chapter 4 verse 13. He said, neither is there any creature that is not manifested in sight. That all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him. In with whom we have to do. That's why we have to be very, very careful with whatsoever any gift that the Lord has deposited in us. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Amen. And this yeah. question that we are talking about is without repentance. You did not get that gift because you were holy. You did not get that gift because you were, you were wonderful, because you fasted very well, because you did or uh, what you, you did, whatever you did, no. That gift came because you got it by an election. You got it because it has been ordained before you were born, just like what he told Jeremiah in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 1, verse 5. He said, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before that comes forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee to be a prophet unto the nation. So it's not because that Jeremiah fasted. It's not because that Jeremiah prayed very well that made Jeremiah to be a prophet. Jeremiah was ordained right from in the realm of the spirit before the mother gave birth to him. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Uh, you want to understand the scripture very well for what I'm talking about? Let's go back again. Let's take a look at Jacob very well. Jacob was a deceiver. How can a deceiver make heaven? How can a deceiver be named today? What we are talking about, I am an Israelite by redemption. That word Israel came, was a name for jo Jacob. But the Bible makes us understand, it said, Jacob, I love Esau, I hate. What have they done? They have, they have not committed any sin. But this was done by an election. Let's quickly turn our Bible to the book of 
Romans chapter 9. Romans chapter 9, verse 11. He said, But the children be not yet born, neither have done any good or evil. That the purpose of God, according to election, might stand, not of works, but of him that call it. Verse 12. It was said unto her that the elder shall serve the younger. In other words, Esau shall serve Jacob. I think, as it is written, Jacob I loved, but Esau I have hated. And what shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness? Then Apostle Paul quickly said, we, uh, say, is there unrighteousness? And if you look at the concluding of that text, Apostle Paul said, is there unrighteousness with God? Apostle Paul said, God forbid. He said, for he said unto Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. I will have, have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then it is not of him that will it, not of him that run it, but it's the God that showeth mercy. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. If you digest that scripture thoroughly and marry it with what I'm just talking about concerning Jacob, because of that name alone, Jacob is that name means deceiver. That name means supplanter. That name means craftiness. So when God wanted to enter into covenant, when he wanted to start using Jacob, the first thing he need to do is to change that name from Jacob to what? To Israel. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. If you take a look at Moses again, Moses was just a fugitive. What is a fugitive? A fugitive is somebody that is running away from justice. A somebody that is running away from an offense that he has committed for him not to be penalized. On his, Moses just killed somebody in Egypt and he ran away from Egypt. And he found himself in the house of Jethro, married one of his daughter as he was taking care of the sheep. He had what we call a great encounter. It's not that Moses was praying. It's not that Moses was seeking it. Moses was taking care of sheep. He was a shepherd and he had a great encounter. So what are we talking about? It's not because he was righteous, because by election, this is what he was created for. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Let's take a look at the game with David. David was just a shepherd boy. Even when Prophet Samuel was trying to go and anointed somebody in the heart of, in the house of Jesse, David was nowhere to be found in the house. David was in the bush. When God located David and ordained him to become a king. So what am I trying to bring out here? The gift of God that you are possessing today, do not abuse it. Do not disgrace it. Do not use them in unrighteousness. It was by election. And do not disgrace the grace of God that has given you that gift. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Any, if you go on and on again, let's take a look at somebody like Saul. Saul, who became Paul, that we all are reading this episode today. Saul was a murderer. Saul was a killer, killing the Christians on his way to Damascus when he took permission from the highest authority to go and slaughter the Christians in Damascus. Saul was arrested. He had what we call a great encounter. Jesus Christ himself spoke with Saul. One on one, and so became a changed human being. No wonder he said in his word, he said, I put myself under subjection. First Corinthians chapter 9, verse 27. That that time I must have preached that I myself should not be a castaway. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In the Bible, Peter was just ordinary fisherman when Jesus Christ located Peter and he became the leader of the apostles. Of the old, praise Master Jesus Christ. None of us we are created or born by mistake. Before we were born, God has ordained us for a specific purpose on earth. As far that you are not dead but alive, you are destined to fulfill a divine plan and purpose on this earth. The ability for you to locate and key into it is what matters. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Grace of God that saves us today or the grace of God that gave us salvation today, none of us merited it. It is a gift. According to the book of Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8, he said, for by grace ye are saved, through faith, not and that 
and that not of yourself. It is, it is the gift of God. If you go to verse 9, not of works, least any man should boast. You should not boast that, yes, it was by your power that you got born again. No, it was by the grace of God that located you. Order your steps that bring you to that particular time where you receive the word and you receive salvation, you got born again. It is a gift. In Romans chapter 9, verse, in Romans chapter 11, verse 29, he said, For the gift and the calling of God are without repentance. Do not use that gift in unrighteousness. Do not use that gift in iniquity. I don't know what God has given to you. He desire to do. Are, are you a chorister? Sing in righteousness. Are you a giver? Are you a rich man in the ministry? The Lord has blessed you to take care of people, to take care of the less privileged. Use it in righteousness. I don't know what the gift that you are possessing. Use them in righteousness. Manifest the gift in righteousness, not in iniquity, so that we will not appear before the king of kings on that day as what? A worker of iniquity. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In if you go to that same Romans chapter 11, verse 30, it says, For as ye in time past have not believed God, yet have not obtained mercy through, through their unbelief. I take it again. For as ye in time past have not believed God, you have not obtained mercy through their unbelief. Verse 31, Even so have these also now not believed, that through your mercy they they also might obtain what? Mercy. Verse 32, for God had concluded them all in unbelief that he might have mercy upon all. So if you take a look at this scripture that we are reading now, you and I receive mercy, not that we deserve it because of his grace, because of his love. It was gift for us. He manifested his love towards us because we never deserve it. We were swimming in we were swimming for destruction, but his, gift, his, grace, his grace was a gift. And his mercy also was a gift for us that we deserve not. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Brethren, for us to get a clearer picture again, let's go back again. Turn our Bible again to the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 12. 1 Corinthians chapter 12. I read from verse 1. He said, Now concerning spiritual gift, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. Verse 2. You know that you were Gentiles. Carried away. Who are Gentiles? Gentiles are people who do not know God. Gentiles are people who worship idol. Gentiles are people that are not redeemed. Are people that are not washed. There are people that are not purified. There are people that are walking in craftiness of their mind. He said, carry the way unto these dumb idols, even as you were led. Verse 3. Wherefore I gave you, wherefore I gave you to understand that no man speaketh by the Spirit of God, calleth Jesus a cost. That no man can say that Jesus is Lord by the Holy Ghost. Verse 4. Now, these there are diversities of gifts, but the same word spirit, and these are different of administration, but the same Lord. Verse 6. And there are diversities of operations, but it is the same God which worketh all in all. Verse 7. But the manifestation of the spirit is given to every man to profit all, to profit with all. Whatsoever that the Lord had deposited in you, whatsoever any assignment that the Lord has given to you in his vineyard, it is given to profit all, it is given to edify all, it is not given to make merchandise of people, it is not given to you to become proud, it is not given to you to become boastful, it is not big given to you for you to begin to swim in unrighteousness, it is not given to you for you to become a stumbling block in the vineyard of the Lord, but is given unto you to send forth the light of God, to give more souls to the kingdom of God, to win souls to the kingdom of God. Are you a teacher? Are you a prof prophet or prophetess? It is given to you to make the work of God easier and to bless the body of Christ and to edify the body of Christ. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. If you 
read that same first Corinthians chapter 12, verse 8. For unto one is given by the Spirit the words of wisdom. Before I proceed further, that is why you must not envy the gift of anybody. Is there anybody in your midst that when you, you when the person is seeing people fall under anointing, don't envy such a person? No. Is there any person that God is using to prophesy? Don't envy such a person. Because when you that is not your office. God has given you your own office. And that office the Lord has given unto you. You need to do what? Key yourself into it. If you so desire that gift, you pray. Maybe by paraventure, God will also give it unto you. But it's not for you to envy and begin to devise a way to tarnish such a person or to become a stumbling block in the ways of that person or to try to gang up to engage that person in order to bring that person down. We all know what, what they tried to do to Daniel because of the gift of God in, in the life of Daniel, because of the excellent spirit that Daniel found favor in the land of Babylon. And they conspired together to destroy Daniel. But what happened? The same lions then that Daniel were thrown into, that was this, that, that nothing happened to Daniel. It was the same lion then that these people were thrown into. Even before they landed, the lion had used their bones and their flesh for breakfast. Praise Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. That is why we should be very, very careful not to envy anybody in, 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 in this ministry. Be anybody in anywhere, whatsoever the churches that you, you attend, if actually the Spirit of God is dwelling there, whosoever God has placed in authority, whosoever God has given the matter of lead, don't envy that person. All you just have to do for that person is to keep supporting and praying and begging God to, to sustain that person, to help him, to do all that he's doing in holiness and righteousness, that he might be or that he or she might be able to make heaven. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Say, for to one is given by the spirit of words of wisdom, to another the words of knowledge, by the same spirit, verse 9, to another faith, by the same spirit, to another the gift of healing, by the same spirit, and to another the working of miracle, to another prophecy, to another the signing of spirit, to another diverse kinds of tongue to another interpretation of tongue that all this work at that one work at that one and the same self spirit dividing to every man severally as he will praise master jesus christ hallelujah what are we talking about all this gift is given unto you for the edification to profit all, to edify the body, to unite the body, to strengthen the body, to make the work of God easier, to make every one of us to run this race with ease to the end. Mm. If you go to verse 11 of it, if you go to that verse 11, for the, uh, uh, verse 12 of it, he said, for as the body is one and many members, and all the members that all, and all the all the members of that one body be many are one body. So also is Christ. The body of Christ is not divided. The body of Christ is united. But it's unfortunate that it's not it's not so again in this present time that we are because we have what long truth pastors pastors that just wake all up all of a sudden in the morning and said the Lord is leading me to open a church. We we know when the time come. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In verse 12, in verse, in verse 13 of that same scripture, it says, For by, by one spirit are we all baptized unto one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be bond or free, having been made, having been all made to drink into one spirit. Verse 14. For the body, the body is not one member, but many. Verse 15. If the food shall say, because I am not the hand, I am I'm not of the body. Is it therefore not of the body? Is a question that the Lord is answering you and I this hour. If the ear shall say, because I am not the eye, I am not of the body. Is it therefore not of the body? If the whole body be an eye, where, where, 
where we are the hearing, if the whole we are hearing, where we are the smelling. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Apostle Paul went for that to break it down. Take a look, for example, now. The eyes is used, though it's very small, it plays a vital role in your body. What does the eye do? If you don't have eyes, you cannot see. Somebody need to lead you with an eye. If you, if you, the, the nose, the holes are very small. Without the nose, you cannot breathe properly. You will cease not to exist. Without the mouth, there is no way you can take it food to nourish the body. Without the hand, there is no way the food can go into the mouth. Without the legs, it can. so you can see everything is fitly framed together to work as a whole to make the body function. So that position that the Lord has placed you in the ministry, are you reading the Bible? Are you singing? Are you teaching? Are you doing whatsoever anything that you are doing? I, I, is your business a blossom? Your, your business is prospering. It is the gift of God. Who, it's not by your power. The Bible says the battle is not to the strong, then that the race is to the swift. It is the gift of God. That is why you must use them. In, you must do all in righteousness to the edification of the body of Christ. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. If I'm communicating, somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I take it one again. He said, the eyes cannot say unto the hand, I have no need of thee. Nor again the head to the feet, I have no need of, of you. So you can see, if the hands, the eyes, the nose, leg, they rebel, you can see the body will collapse. The body will finish. So that is how we are in the body of Christ. So no matter what gift I've been bestowed unto you, what you need to do, use them judiciously, holily, righteously to the word, to the entire edification of the body of Christ. Let's be there for one another to lift each other up, not to bring anybody down, not to destroy. And all these gifts should be done in love. Love is the one that crowns it all. As you know, right? All these gifts, a time will come when it will be done away with. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Yeah. Brethren, if you go for that again to Romans chapter 12 from verse 6, it says, Have it then this have it then gift different according to the grace that is given to us. Whether prophecy, let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith, or ministry, let us wait on our ministering, or he that teaches or teaching, or he that exhorted on exhortation, or he that giveth, let him do it with simplicity. He that ruleth with diligence, he that shows mercy with cheerfulness. Praise Master Jesus Christ. So, if we put this word of God into play, you see that the, the house of God, the body of Christ, will be the best place for us to live. No wonder David said, I was glad when they say, let us go to the house of the Lord. So in other words, for us to be able to function in this office, we must take away bitterness. We must take away anger. We must take away craftiness. We must take away hatred. We must take away maliciousness. We must take away every form of every works of the flesh. We must try to take away unnecessary popularity to create unnecessary awareness. We must take it away. Everything must be done in sincerity, in holiness, in righteousness. That is what the Lord is telling you and I this hour. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And if you go to 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 1, the Bible will understand that the gift that will take us to that everlasting life, even when we die, that same gift will still go with us. It's what love. Verse one. He said, "Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, and I have not charity, I am becoming as a sounding brass or a thickness samba." Verse two. And though I have the gift of prophecy, and I understand all mysteries and all knowledge, 
And though I have all faith so that I could remove mountain and I have no charity, I am what? Nothing. Verse 3. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be born, and I have no charity, it profited me nothing. In verse 4. Charity suffered long, is kind. Charity envied not. Charity vaunted not in self. Is not what? Puffed up. So, brethren, so we can see that the gift that is given unto you, a time is coming where all these gifts shall be what? Done away with. If you read the scripture very well. So I'm, I did not include it here. So, what am I trying to talk about? Everything that we, no matter the gift that the Lord that said, maybe you hear the voice of God so loudly. My son, do this. My daughter, do this. You have to be very, very careful. It's a gift. And make sure that you do not disgrace it. Make sure that you do not pollute it. Make sure that you hear that voice and do everything that it says in righteousness, not in unrighteousness, not in iniquity. Because pastors, prophets, prophetess are all in heaven. What happened? It started very well. At the end of it all, they used the gift of God in their life to make merchandise of their followers, to use it in a malicious and in, in a wicked way. And at the end of it all, they ended up in her fire. I pray that will not be our portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, Amen. Of the, matter. the conclusion of the matter is that we should fear God and make sure that we use the gift of God in holiness and in righteousness. May the Lord bless his word now in Jesus' name. Uh, is the word of God for you and for me. I pray as many of us that have heard this word this hour, we all will take action and live according to the word of God in Jesus' name. Uh, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, and Father of Ages, I magnify your name. I give you all the praise. I give you all the honor. But I thank you, Lord, for the grace and strength that you have given upon unto me again to speak your word. This hour, Father, I ask, O oh Lord, if there's anything I've said, O oh Lord, I ought not to have said, have mercy upon me. Father, if I interpreted your word wrongly, have mercy upon me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray that this word will not be used against me, will not be used against the hearer. Rather, to sanctify us, purify us, and make every one of us rapture ready in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, blessed Redeemer, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Man of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. God bless you, my blood worker. More strength, more grace, and Lord will empower you, strengthen you to the, to the end in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. Lord, everyone of us must take it to you, myself. And every one of us, and I pray God will help us. Mm. On the last day, we'll get before Him. The gift He gave to us will not be our sentence to hell in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Are you out there? You are not born again. This is our now for you to come out to your gift. We manifest. Say after me, if you want to accept Christ as your as your Lord and personal Savior, say, Lord Jesus. I've heard your word. I am in the far country of sin. I have no gift in me right now. But I believe as I come to you today, my sin be forgiven. That which you deposited in me before I was formed in my mother's womb will be made manifest. Jesus, I'm sorry for being wasteful for so long. Lord Jesus, wash me clean with your blood, purge me from every unrighteousness. I denounce the devil, I renounce him. Lord Jesus Christ, I announce today that you come into my life, dwell in me. I announce that from today, you are my Lord and personal Savior. I go now to sin no more. Thank you, Almighty God.
for saving my soul. Thank you, Jesus Christ, for dying, resurrecting to save me. I thank you, Holy Ghost, for sending this word my way. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I pray with you if you have confessed this confession, you have done the right thing. Father, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for this one, so God. You have heard this word of life. The world is lacking in the churches today. The word of God, that of God, our sister pastor cannot preach because the general pastor is the Lord of the church. The word of God, the general pastor cannot preach because he knows he's doing the same thing. Father, but because we are children of God, under your care, we are able to preach anything you want us to preach. I say all glory belongs to your name in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Father, your word has brought this one oh out of hell. The word has mm-hmm. spoken to every one of us, oh God. These ones, oh God, that have just be- get born again. And we that were there before, we that are there before them. Help every one of us, oh God, to our head to this instruction. So that mm-hmm. instruction will not be our portion on the last day in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Anyway, we are, being, we are missing it already. Because I know every word that come come for somebody. But as search me, search every one of us, O oh God. Wherever, O oh God, our gift was waiting, O oh God, to send us us to hell on that day. Father, open our eyes to see it, O oh God, that we might go back to our dream boat. Amen. And what to do in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Father, because I know you answer our prayer this morning. Thank you. In Jesus Christ, might name we pray. Um, Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When this half hour can go, be reminded that today is our first prayer. So this Wednesday, we we'll meet again by 11 a.m. There are a lot of, a lot of things to say, but there's no time. Come by 11 and this spirit direct who will pray our way out and in. Lord say he brought them out that he might bring them in and go with him mm. in there on that day in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Uh, uh, it's every time. Bless it. Bye. <laughs>
Lord, I thank you for our year, Lord, this morning. As everybody that hear your word, Father, we will be the year in the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father, my God. I bring the offering before you. I bring the tithe. Father, Lord, let them be used to your own glory in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. This morning, we bring our day before you. Guide us, oh Lord. Protect us wherever we go this morning in the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father, my Lord, because you are worthy in our life. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for answering our prayer this morning. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. The grace of fellowship. Amen. 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 Rest, 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 Yes, he's following us all. Learn us all. Our God. All our family. In the presence of you, my God. My God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the presence of God. We guide us through wherever we go today, in and out, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Be Let's wave our hands unto, unto, unto God Almighty as we glorify his, his Son Jesus Christ. As we shout, Glory to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Glory to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Go and enjoy your today's allocation again in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. 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 Am